It is a shambles at the moment. I repeat, it's not good enough. I've been on our trains, the good ones and the not so good ones, uh, and the not so good ones are just not up to a standard that I find acceptable. The local railway system is the victim of ageing rolling stock, all of it more than two decades old, except for the Belfast Dublin trains. NIR simply do not have enough trains to run an effective service. Already there are gaps in the timetable. There are plenty of passengers to be moved, but not enough trains to move them. Well, the underlying problem is the age of the stock, and indeed in the last month or two we have felt the main effects of of these particular problems. Basically that the stock that we have at the minute, it has had its day. Uh, it's designed in the 50s, uh, although some of it is manufactured in the 60s and early 70s. It's an old design. Some of the problems with it are manifested because of that particular era that was developed. NIR's parent company TransLink do have the money to buy new trains, but they're not allowed to spend it. TransLink is owned by the government. Spending the money would upset the Chancellor's annual spending plans for Northern Ireland. Of course there's a difficulty, but that's partly the way their the accounting works. There have been significant subsidies to the railways which exceed the money you're talking about. I agree the system isn't good enough. Uh, and I'm doing everything I can to, to remedy that. Of course I'd like things to happen tomorrow. There will be a little bit of time before we can start moving, but I hope it won't be all that long. The current transport strategy promises new tracks and new buildings, but makes absolutely no mention of new trains. It did, however, include the £14 million set to one side to reopen the old Bleach Green Line. It's all a question of numbers. Currently, NIR simply do not have enough trains to run an effective service. They're getting six new trains in two years' time, but those will most likely be used to replace some existing trains. It's also likely that other trains will have to be taken out of service simply due to old age. But in two to three years' time, this will open the Bleach Green Line to Belfast. NIR will need more trains to run that, and those can only come from existing services. It seems that the situation can only get worse. Mike McKim, BBC News, on the Bleach Green Line.